half party yeah. and party party half the time is not there smith what's the point is still what's the point exactly what's the point of that's actually, why we're getting having... injuries we're getting injuries yeah. because odegaard has been you see how odegaard runs eh? imagine mm, running mm. like that twice a week for the whole season that's why yeah. I, that's the, if you if you are to ask me why Saka has has been off form and odegaard it's because odegaard mm. is being overplayed and Saka yeah. there's no replacement <laughs> All right, Kwame, as I mentioned, by the way, we are back with another video. And uh, basically, we're basically just here to talk about uh, two injuries that we have. Two major injuries, actually. Thomas Pate, out for five weeks. Jesus, probably out for five weeks. I think we just heard it by there from the press conference that Mikel Ateta gave ahead of our tomorrow's game versus uh, Sheffield. Yes. Yeah, so it's not really, it's not one of those things that you want to hear. Specifically, uh, Jesus... At least it has had some game time for the time uh, for the time we started this season. But looking at Thomas Partey, he's been injured by the, the, the better part of the season. I don't want to blame him. You know, nobody ever wishes injury injuries on uh, on themselves, or none of us actually wish wish injuries on players. These things actually yes. do happen. But the question is, from a from from a financial perspective, from a business perspective, is Partey a liability, or what is he is is he, is he proving by that to be uh value value for money i think at this rate no uh yeah but but we can't do without him uh because right now not having him at all uh and having him uh, at least for a few games what i think is if we can get a good offer and we can sell him maybe to saudi arabia or something uh, and then get some good money add and get Mm. A Declan Rice level midfielder, then that would be good. But Pate on his day is really good. But we can't keep on. He played every time he plays for his country, he comes back injured every time. You know, it's mm. it's annoying. Yeah. So, so in my opinion, I think he's becoming a liability. Uh, his injury record is not very good, and surprisingly, yeah. it was not as bad when he was at Atletico. He came to Arsenal, it became bad. And I think it's because we didn't have a balanced squad. Right now, I think once we get good attack, one attacking midfielder and a, and a proper striker, Hold on. then Hold on. our team... Yeah, Kwame. So, uh, I mean, you're saying something, actually. Go ahead. Yeah, I just said that uh, he's an ability. Um, that goes without saying. It's painful to say it because on his day, he's unplayable, he's strong. He's athletic. He's got good passing. He's got everything that you need in a midfielder. So, mm. what I need as we call scouting to just look for another party, which is hard. Yeah, and seems, and it don't come cheap because you have seen decline the yeah. price of Declan. So mm. we just have we have to find uh, somebody like Party. So my question is actually, by the way, Party, do you think we should sell him by the during the January window, or should we sell him at the end of the season? I think, you know, in the January transfer window, because it's patchwork, anybody, any player mm -hmm. you buy during the January transfer window is overpriced. Mm. Because the summer transfer is when the market is open. Everybody is buying and selling. Mm. And the transfer window is longer. So, uh, mm. I mean, if somebody gives you a ridiculous price, you have options, different leagues to look at. You know, mm. you've been scouting for a while. You have all your reports. Because, you know, they do scouting even from now. They just yeah. collect the data, you see. Mm. So, but mm. buying mm. in January, uh, we can only buy it if we think we, we could win the league and we are going to buy Aussie yeah. men. Right? But, you see, Aussie mm. men and but they don't play the same position. Yeah. See? So, for me, I think yeah. uh, we'd rather buy a striker to support Jesus, right? Uh, and mm -hmm. just survive with party. So maybe they just need, we just need to start to play 30 minutes, come mm. out 30 minutes on, on on the hardest games. If if I was a Teta, I'd stop trying to yeah. post things. I'd just yeah. choose the big games. He comes in, mm -hmm. feels, uh, the first 30 minutes, pop, 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 score, 
then he can come out and yeah. somebody can replace. Yeah, just specific That's the thing actually I wanted to say. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So that, that's the thing actually I wanted to say. Uh, you see, it's the work of the coach, but they to manage a player. And I think as if there's a time actually we had a phone call, but then I was telling you this story about uh, listening to uh, Rio Ferdinand and uh, Patrice Evra's uh, podcast. And they were saying that you remember Van Persie was one of those players who was injury prone. Injury prone. All the time. The time was at Arsenal. Mm -hmm. kept, kept on getting a knock time every 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 time and again. But then Rio was saying, actually, no, 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 not even Rio. Patrice Evra was saying, actually, the way Fergie managed Vieira, even during training days, he would train separately. And if he was to train, it's actually by the train with with the you know with with with, with academy players, you know, as opposed to the, you know mm. the hard to the to the to the hard training, because now you see that's the work of a coach. You're supposed to manage these players. If you know a player is mm. injury prone, it's your work to know how yeah. to manage him. Yeah. So like yeah. imagine yeah. the guy picked an injury by the during training. Yeah. The yes. second observation that they have made, if you look at uh, the current Spurs coach, yeah. he has quite a complicated name. You do realize that the moment, and I, I just want you to go and make an observation. In fact, actually, Spurs is actually playing by the with with Crystal Palace in the next couple of minutes. I want you mm, to observe this. Right. The moment that the Spurs usually get a score, he 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 usually within the next like ten minutes, Madison off, Son off. Why? He knows very well he doesn't have score depth. Those, yeah? yeah, if if those guys get injured, that's it. If they, if they get injured, that's it. So. I, I wish, you know, that, that is what Ateta needs to do. And as much as we're also blaming Ateta here, there are players also need to step, step up. Honestly speaking, players like Akina, Vieira, players like uh, Havertz, you know, for example, someone like Havertz, 60 million, 65 million. Mitro, you know, you know, Mitro used to score for us. The way, just the exactly. way, the way uh, what's this guy called? Odegaard used, has been scoring. Uh, yes. Mitro, before the injury, he was hot. Yeah. He Very was hot. hot. Dangerous. He's not playing anything, and I, I, I don't he's blame not. the coach. He needs to step up or be sold because the guy, the guy, um, he's, he's, I mean, he needs to play. He needs to play, and if he, if he's yeah. not making the cut, we need to consider selling him. That's another person I've tried to give him a chance, but he had a very nasty injury, and that's mm. why I, I'm cutting him some slack. But his mm. his his time is is running out. Yeah. But it's funny because what's the point young guy saying we have him and he's not playing? Yeah, what's the point? What's yeah. the point of actually having a player? You see, this is the thing I always tell fans actually, even the guys are watching here. Don't be attached to these players. This is the business entity. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's either you can get the job done or not. Unfortunately, yeah. by the way, yeah. there's some things that are actually out of our control. Things like injuries, things like you know, suspensions and whatnot. But you see, you are work there as a player. Okay, yes, is to ensure you get the job done, no matter who. And then I, want to ask, I, want to ask, I want to ask you a very uh, telling question. And yeah. I hope Arsenal uh, technical team have analyzed this. There are mm. some players we have that are acting as a stopgap that, mm -hmm. if we are not careful, might end up with no midfielders, like for example, Smithro, mm. Pate, Juninho. Juninho is good, but. He's just bringing leadership, but he doesn't have the physicality to play many yeah. games. With the ball, so is good. Off players. the ball, he's so poor. So, so, and I mean, like in his prime, Junino was, you know, like a master playmaker. You see, but mm. now the guy is mm. in his thirties. So we have Junino, we have Smithrow, we have Pate, who potentially are just joy riders. Three old yeah. midfielders. Assuming, yeah. assuming we replace these three with solid midfielders. You see, like the way Tomiyasu yeah. came and made a difference. Mm. Why should we have smith -Rowe? We just on the squad, we have smith -Rowe. we have uh, yeah. Junino, we have Pate, yeah. and Pate, Pate half the time is not there. smith what's the point? is still there. What's the point? Exactly. What's the point of actually we're getting having... Injuries. We're getting injuries yeah. because Odegaard has been... You see how Odegaard runs. Eh? Imagine mm. running mm. like that twice a week for the whole season. That's why, yeah. I, that's the, if, you're, if you're to ask me why Saka has, has been off form and Odegaard, it's because Odegaard mm. is being overplayed and Saka, yeah. there's no replacement. 
At least yeah. on the wing, we have Trossett for for Martinelli. But on on mm. on on Saka, Saka side, I think we de- we depend too much on the young boy. He's the one exactly. who created their 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 assist the other day for the important goal for Jesus. Mm. Yeah. So uh, no, for Trossard, sorry. Yeah. For Trossard, so, yeah. Very chelsea like game. We overplay him, so I think uh, that's why we need to whatever. It's painful, but I think Ateta in his when they're privately sitting with his team, mm. uh, chopping board Smithro. If he doesn't show anything between now and December, we need to hype him up, sell him. Yeah, that's the that's the whole idea. That's the whole idea, Play, guys. Don't be attached to these players. If a player is actually by the way not performing as per the, if 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 an employee is not up. Performing El Neni, but hey, I don't yeah, know if what about El Neni. El Neni as well. Exactly. So we have Junino, we have just Neni. Se- yes, just a second, Kwame. Yeah, so you know, a lot of a lot of dead weight. A so, lot of so dead weight. Those that are four, four midfielders. Assuming, yeah, you've seen the impact Jesus has had on Arsenal as one player. Yeah. Uh, Pate in his prime, you saw him coming as one player, the impact. Now imagine these mm. four, we sell them and replace with two solid people. Two. Exactly. Because those are mid players. Because yeah. no Smith yeah. is just there. We have a squad player. Oh, he has potential. Potential until when? I'm tired. This of issue of you know, like, uh, this, yeah, even me, I'm tired. This issue of squad depth, squad depth. Guys talking about squad depth. What is the squad depth doing? If they're not doing anything, get rid of them. It's as simple as that. Yeah, Let's yeah. start operating like a big club. Like Man City, Grealish, kind of enters, enters, Grealish, Grealish, Grealish yeah. enters, there's a difference. Doku enters, there's a difference. But for us... Exactly. Yeah. We then score, we put the feelings then we, aside, yeah, actually. We start operating like we are a surviving. big club. We are surviving. We are surviving. Even when smith came in during the Sevilla game, we were holding on. We were holding on. You get me? So... Yeah. Yeah, so I, you, I, I, I think I think we need to we need to for the players the players that uh, are not performing, I think let's just get the money and buy. Yeah, we just need to buy wisely. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh listen, I would like to end this conversation. First thing, the internet is lagging. Second thing, I actually want to watch this shit club, Spurs versus Crystal Palace. I hope they get to lose the game today. <laughs> Yeah, so anyway, Kwame, it's been nice having you here. Yeah. And I think I'll Same be seeing you on the next one tomorrow. All right. All right. Super, bro. On to the next one All tomorrow. Right.